Hi everyone, my name is Martin Cherub from Corporate Communication Department. Today, I will introduce our new motto of Toyota. Toyota, moving forward even when you don't want to. Some of you probably still remember back in 2009 when we had the issue with unintended acceleration. A lot of driver of Toyota have the issue of not being able to stop the car and the car keep accelerating and it caused an accident. The company lost more than 1.2 billion dollars because of this issue and crisis. So what should we do in the future to prevent this big loss? We need to have a good crisis communication and good crisis management in our company. Number one reason why we need that is to minimize the loss as minimum as possible. And the second one, we need to keep the good reputation of our company. We don't want the customer to lose their trust and stop buying our product anymore. And number three, we want to protect the company from the lawsuits caused by the issue or the crisis. There are several fundamentals of crisis communication. The first one and the most important one is to respect the media. Why do we have to respect the media? Media is the front line of our communication we need to have a good relationship with them so they will deliver the positive message to the customers number two we need to communicate well whether it's inside our company or communicate to the media and also we need to communicate well to the customers. We need to make sure that everyone is in one page. And number three is taking the responsibility in case we found that the issue or the error caused by our fault or mistake. Number four is to plan the crisis communication and crisis management before it happens. There are several recommendations that I have uh, for our company. Number one, of course, to plan ahead. We need to choose one person as the spokesperson. In case the crisis happens, that person will be the person that will answer all the questions from media, from the customers, or even from the government. Number two, we need to have a fast and accurate response. We need to have a team that will research the cause of the issue and let the spokesperson know what to tell or what to do and number three is to apologize with sincerity. We need somebody or a spokesperson that is trustworthy who people will believe and has the respect. So our apologies will be accepted by the customer. And the last one is we need to utilize the social media such as Twitter and Facebook. Uh, in several crises, many companies have used their Twitter and Facebook to provide the solution of the issue and to communicate the la latest news of what's going on. Social media is really powerful because almost everyone use it 
in today's society. So once again, we need to plan ahead. We need to give them the fast and accurate response. And we need to apologize in case uh, the mistake is from our company. And last one is to utilize the social media to communicate to the customers, to the media, and to government. And if any of you have any questions, comments, feel free to ask me. Thank you.